Police have smashed in a car window to arrest Eve Black, a coronavirus sceptic who posted a video of herself breaching a Melbourne checkpoint. Here's a reminder of what she did. I don't need to answer your questions. No. no. Have I committed a crime? Pardon? Have I committed a crime? Have I committed a crime? Thank you. Yeah, well, they caught up with her yesterday. She's now been arrested. And for more, we are joined by legal expert Justin Quill in Melbourne. Justin, thanks for your time this morning. I mean, first up, though, you are in lockdown. I assume you're doing the right thing. How do you feel about this woman's actions? Uh, look, uh, it's... it's frustrating I guess is uh, and you know given that I'm uh, on a uh, a live television show I'll be uh, I'll be uh, careful with my my language but frustrating uh, is an understatement to be to be frank but um, look, everyone's trying to do the right thing I've got my mask here um, we've got an exemption where uh, it's important for people to be able to hear us so that's why I, I have the mask off for the moment while I'm doing this cross but as soon as I've finished it I'll be putting it back on and uh, uh, if everyone does the right thing, you know, we will get on top of it. But when you see people flouting the laws, and especially we just heard what we heard about uh, the, the Queensland situation, um, it is uh, frustrating to say the least. Yeah, I mean, it's appalling action. I mean, that was video that was taken last week. She was so proud of herself for that. Yesterday, police caught up with her. They smashed her mm. window when she again refused to provide any details. Plenty of people this morning saying good on them. What's she being charged with? Yeah. Yeah, and look, it's important to note that that is a, to, what happened yesterday is obviously a very separate incident to the one that we saw the video of a, a moment ago. Look, she's been charged, uh, she's been released, uh, and there's a summons on its way to her. So a little bit like the checks in the mail for her. Unfortunately for her, the uh, the uh, the summons is in the mail. It's a, a driving offences. It's failure to produce a licence with the uh, uh, um, identifying details, and also uh, failure to uh, comply with the directives of the mm. chief medical officer um, so that's what she's uh, she's going to be charged uh, with well we've been talking about these two teenagers in Queensland and whether or not the punishment fits the crime in regards to what Eve Black has done here what can she be charged with in I mean what can she be fined and what is the potential punishment yeah, I mean, it, it's it's an unusual situation. This is very different to normal circumstances where someone walking down the street, the police can't just stop you and ask you for for identification unless they think you have committed a crime or about to commit a crime. Uh, but we are in uh, a state of emergency at the moment. That's been officially declared. Uh, and in Victoria, for example, there's a particular act, the uh, Health and Wellbeing Act, and that uh, sets out all the provisions that uh, apply when we're under a state of emergency and so where you don't follow the directives of the chief medical officer Brett Sutton in the case of Victoria uh, and his delegates so mm -hmm. Victoria police then you can be um, find some pretty serious fines now at the moment um, for if I was to walk down the street without a mask mm -hmm. uh, I would be up for 10 penalty units that's a, about $1,652 uh, but you could be fined up to 120 penalty units so it's nearly $20,000 if you continue Continue to flout those uh, those laws. So uh, the fines can get pretty serious. Um, 1,652 might not seem like um, a lot if you uh, um, if you don't follow those directives, um, but uh, they ca can uh, get ramped up if you continue to do so. Um, not wearing a mask is $200. It's a lower fine, but mm. other things like going through checkpoints and things like that, it's the 1,652. Well, hopefully it sends a strong message to these COVID sceptics to do the right thing and do it for all of us. Thanks for joining us this morning, Justin.